Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Harry Potter miniature series. Uh, this episode is about how I paint faces and as you can see we're, losing, we're using Lucius uh, Malfoy. Um, I picked this one because you know, he's got some great features on there so um, yeah let's get straight into it. Okay Lucius, um, for the skin I'm going to be starting off by using my usual Acadian flesh tone for the base coat. Just getting some stuff on my brush. Um, for this one, I'm going to try out uh, Rosemary and Co. size one uh, brush. Let's see how we get on with it. Uh, because I've I've already primed this um, using some Xenothal Prime and I'm pulling the paint down the way. Which will hopefully keep some of the shadows that we've already got there. Okay, so I'm going in with a, a second coat of the Cadian Flesh Tone. Um, and I've decided that I'm going to do it slightly different. So ignore what I said about pulling the pigment down to keep the shadows. We're going to put an opaque base coat down and we're going to work up after a shade. Um, this keeps it simpler for um, our guys that are still learning out there. I don't want to be messing about with uh, shadows. If if I was keeping if I was keeping it, uh, well, if if I wanted to keep the shadows and the highlights from Xenophon Priming, I'd only apply this second coat to the forehead, the cheeks, the nose, and the chin. Um, but seeing as we're doing the uh, the opaque base coat, I'm doing a whole lot. So I want an even coverage um, all over the face. Okay, we'll wait for that to dry. So for the shade, I'm going to be using Reichlin Flesh Shade. It's going to give it a good shake before we start though. I'm just using it straight out of the pot and I'm not watering it down with anything and I don't know whether if you've seen previous videos or not or uh, I've done faces I always talk about the the T shape on the face so the T is the eyes going across and the nose coming down so that's that's where I want to concentrate the shadows. So I'll just put one coat on there now. I'll leave that to dry. I wanted to try and pull it on the chin there. I'll leave that dry and come back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go back in with another coat of the flesh shade, but this time I'm going over the whole face. I'm pushing it into the hairline so it pools you know between that between the skin and the first strands of hair and get a nice line there then. and then fill in around okay okay so the flesh shade wash has dried nicely and what I'm going to do now is go back in and layer on with uh, the Cadian flesh tone. 
it's a bit a little bit thicker than I usually use because I usually use you know 50% paint 50% water it's not quite as much water this time because uh, um, I'm gonna speed things up a bit for this video otherwise we'll be here all night so let's pick out the fingers Concentrate on the forehead, bridge of the nose, nostrils either side, top lip, chin. That's the cheeks. You notice know, on this sculpt, it's got a few lines that you can follow. I'm going to stay away from going into that shadow part there. You see there's a little line between the, the corner of his nose that runs down his cheek. I don't want to go into that. Because we'll be going back in with um, maybe flesh shade later on. Just to reinforce some of the shadows again. But that's okay for the first pass. I'm going to keep it there for now. I'm going to go off camera now. But what I usually do, if I turn him that way, hopefully you can still see. I'll get away with doing it on here. I'll get the point of my brush. I'll go in as far in as I can. And get that top part of the cheek done. do for the first pass. Alright so I've got some more Cadian flesh tone and same again I'm gonna do that T so bridge of the nose eyebrows and those cheekbones I'm going to bring the brush around there. I'm keeping away from that shadow crease there. I might have to go in back in later on with a, a darker tone just to reinforce that. I think it's quite prominent on the box art. I'm going in as far as I can there under the eye and bringing that back. I'm staying outside that shadow line again. Okay. For the next stage it's 50-50 Kisler flesh and Cadian flesh. And same again, bridge of the nose. So before I go any further, I've got a dark brown ready. And I just wanted to reinforce the, the lines um, from his nose. I'm coming down there. That's quite thin. And it's going to be quite subtle. Yeah, like that. And I'm just using the absolute tip of the brush. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't want to get the body in there at all. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just going in the eyes as well. 
just to darken things down a bit. That's the thing, if you can get hold of a brush with a nice point on it, this, all this stuff will be quite straightforward to do. And let's go between the lips there. I've already done the, the fingers. The brown is, I'd say, the equivalent of a Citadel's XV88 with a little bit of Mornfang brown in it. Oh, like I say, it's quite thin. So more than 50% water and paint. Okay, so we can carry on with the skin now. So back to the 50-50 mix of the Kislev and Kadian. I'm going in exactly the same spots, the bridge of the nose, the eyebrows and the cheeks, but I'm going further back now. So if I start from about the corner of the eye, I'm work my way back. Get that line, just the top of the chin, and the dot either side on the moustache, top lip. We'll get that line. And what I'll do, I'll put a thin line up at the hairline, you know, with the absolute top of the forehead, and push it into the hairline. That's that stage done. What I've just been doing off camera is the, I don't know if you can see any change from the last part of the, the last stage and this stage, but I've actually gone in and done the, the bottom eyelid and the top eyelid, just to pick them out, you know, with the, the absolute tip of your brush, and I think because of this, the way this is sculpted, I'm not going to bother doing the eyes, because you're not going to see them. I'll leave that dark brown in the in the eye sockets and we'll just highlight the the eyelids and it just gives gives an impression that the eyes are there so there's no need to start you know trying to pick out the eyes and you'll just get frustrated. So it just looks good as it is. Um, so the next stage is pure Kislev flesh. And I'm just getting that ready now. I keep knocking the camera, sorry. And this is quite thin, so it's more than 50% paint and 50% water. Oh, I've got too much on there. I'm doing the tip of the nose. This stage is again it's quite subtle. Oh, messed up there. I've gone too high with the, the brush stroke. So I'll wet my brush and I'll put it down. So there's any pigment that was there I've, I've more or less washed it away and brought it to where I want it to be. And I'll back in now. The absolute top of the chin and the moustache and I'm going to pick that line out again because I want a stark, stark contrast there. There's quite a deep little fold he's got going there. A little bit of Bruce Lewis, uh, Bruce, Bruce Willis going on about this guy. If you imagine him without the, uh, the long hair. He's straight out of die hard. I'll just do a little line down there at the edge of the, you know, the frontal lobes to the corner of the eyebrow. And we'll probably do another coat, but we're nearly there now. 
Okay, so I'm going in with uh, the more of the, the Kislev on its own. Just a second coat. Beak. I'm just doing the bottom bit of his beak. Top of the eyebrow. It's that same T section. Side of the cheekbones. Heart line. And the chin. Just a little spot on the top of the chin there. Not bad, that. I think um, once you frame the face with the hair, so I'll, 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 yeah, we'll do that now. Um, I'll go back to that dark brown colour, you know, the, the XV88 and the little bit of Mornfang brown in there. And what I'll do, I'll put it in between the hairline and the face. Just to give the impression of a little shadow. His hair is quite light, isn't it? Once you do his hair then, um, should look okay. Alright, so that's that for now. Okay, so just to finish off, I did the, the hair with some uh, Ushabti bone. It's just a base coat, but from that you can see, well, it, it's, it's more apparent that I did that thin line between the hair and the face. So when you put that Ashabti bone on, you know, stay away from that line that you've already put in. Um, but it's, it's no problem if you do go over it, just use the same brown once you've finished the hair to, to outline the face again. It just brings things into focus more um, and draws your attention to the face, I think, anyway. So that's that's it for how I paint my faces. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you find it useful. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll well, I'll carry on doing Lucius. And I'm, I'm not sure there's much else to show you on him because everything's going to be black and grey anyway. So maybe we'll do one for the the Malfoy family, but we'll see. See how it goes. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. We'll see you in the next one.